welcome back to another episode of Process This. As you can see, we're a bit more festive today. Mm -hmm. That is because it is the last episode of this latest season of Process This. That's yes. right. Hope you all had a very happy Thanksgiving and getting ready for the festives of Christmas and any, any other holidays this season, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all of it. So, mm -hmm. but this is a basketball show. We're talking about basketball, and in the season of the holidays, we're going to ask for one thing, each of us. You get one gift from the NBA this year. Oh. So... We're going to go around, each of us is going to talk about our gift that we want, whether it be, you know, a new basketball, you know, a new pair of Kyrie's, you never know what it's going to be. But uh, yeah, so we're going to start off the episode with Jay. Jay, what do you want for uh, this holiday season? Uh, other than those uh, Paul George shoes that came out a few years ago, the PS4 ooh, version, ooh, uh, ones ooh, I, 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 I always wanted, never got. Uh, <laughs> I'm personally a big Kyrie Spongebob fan. Well, I love those, know, I love those. I, I do love a gimmick shoe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, oh, let's talk about actual basketball. I want this midseason tournament to happen right now. I love this guy. This is why he's on the show. Now, him. now, I will say a lot of people are against this, the thought of majority of people. Yes, <laughs> but what what needs to be understood is that I love a good dumb idea that benefits teams that aren't good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, is, like, this would literally be the NBA Finals for tanking teams. Oh, yes, I, absolutely. It's perfect. It's a great idea for yes. teams that just don't want to play in the season. And, like, and, it gives and, everyone a reason and, to play. And they will put it all out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I think one thing that, that one thing that could be cool is since something like a pick may be like, yes, available as they a winner, talking about they should have the seeding be reversed. So lowest mm, seed gets highest. Yeah. And the, because yeah. a, lot of the big, like, a lot of the big competitor teams aren't really going to want to play for this. Yeah. So I think this tournament should be exclusive to the bottom half of the league, around yeah. the, the bottom 15 teams. It's the worst team gets the number one seed and so yeah. on and so forth. But yeah. I think it would be great for the league. Yeah. Now, obviously, a big thing would be, you know, like, player health and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Now, like, do you do this tournament, you know, back-to-back -back nights? Yeah. Like, like what, what's the format? And then also on top of that, you're probably going to have to take games off from the Yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's, there's definitely going to be, like, a smaller, a smaller regular season yeah. if that happens. I'm but guessing around 75. Maybe, yeah, 70 was going to be my guess. But I, I do think that this is part of the – playing like that episode was kind of been talking about it. it's kind of been seen for years is what I've thought as NBA as it is becoming an international game it is becoming more like soccer yeah where you know even though this isn't like a Champions League type thing mm -hmm. where this is the opportunity for teams to pick up another trophy that oh yeah they, that they might not be able to get and you know you might have teams that might just try to win it yeah tanking teams are just there and like they don't have teams, anything to do. Yeah, tanking teams don't normally have much to play for during the regular season, especially like bottom of the barrel. Yeah. The Knicks don't have much to play for, the Cavs, uh, the Golden State Warriors right now. <laughs> <laughs> Although that would be scary. If they won that and they got the first overall pick, we would be right back where we were two years yep. ago. Yeah, especially with everyone coming back next year. Yeah, it would be uh, interesting. You know. But I, I honestly, I like the idea along with shortening the regular season. I think that that definitely needs to happen just because as we know right now, TV ratings are very down on TV. Yeah, yeah. I, be I believe it's now, granted, 14%. I think it, it's actually 25% on TV Yikes. ratings. Mm -mm. But I think that number is very, very skewed because they're not factoring in streaming services. They're not factoring yeah. in social media it's services. Valid. I think that they're just trying to draw attention to people go back to watching. You know, because a lot of like mainstream NBA is on is on cable, not yeah. broadcast television, not yeah. streaming mm -hmm. services. So now you do have things like Hulu, ESPN yeah. Plus, yeah. YouTube TV. And we don't know that's factored in, and I will say that. And that is factored into some of the ratings, but a lot of the recent things that I've it's been just seeing cable. is just cable ratings yeah. and all those kind of major yeah, TV. It, yeah, it, it, there's a problem that's across. All, oh yeah, uh, I know. This all, is something. Like, we, me and my friends were talking about mm -hmm. this before the show a lot, and uh, they were they were talking about how a lot of the reason is because basketball is not entertaining anymore. And I just think that's completely false. Oh, that's false. I mean, this is like what everyone's been asking for. Yeah. I mean, this is a whole new NBA. Uh, they're, just, they're more ways this to is the watch first it. time in like five years I yeah. don't know who's going to win the championship. Yes. So I don't think entertainment's a factor. I just think some of the numbers may be getting skewed, but also I do think that the league uh, that season's a little bit too long. Yeah. Kind of the NHL yeah. where it, it just goes on forever. I, I, See, that's the thing. I find myself like. Getting burned out like halfway through the season at yeah. times during NBA season and where on top it's of like that, I don't even, I don't really need television to keep up on my team. Oh, yeah, the social media I'll, presence I'll has been so massive yeah. that I don't even need to watch things like I maybe watch like yeah. one game a week. Like, not, like, not even like, all the way I'll, through. I'll, I'll get the highlights. Through. I'll it, it, if if it's a game of really really big importance, mm -hmm. I will watch it. I'll, but other than that, I'll just oh, keep yeah. on checking on my. But I mean, if you have this kind of mid mid season tournament that's only on cable TV, that adds that would add a lot more of a reason to go on television. Go on even like if it's on streaming yeah. services as well. Yeah. I think that would, It'd be that would bring back a lot of yeah. and, attention to the and, NBA. And you get, you know, 
programs, or well, programs, you get fan bases in cities that, you know, would typically be out of the conference. Oh, right yeah. yeah. You have them, Small you know, market like, teams that don't have big players, like, they, they, like, it gives hey, them a reason you know, to watch. Like, maybe we can win this. Yeah, like, maybe you get something. Oh, maybe the Wizards are going to get hot. Yeah, like, know. I mean, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. So, you're saying, what would you like for this holiday season? I want the 7 through 10 play-in game. That's what I would want. That's like, another, count. That's, that's, that's another, another similar game. proposal. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I am for because it is kind of dumb. <laughs> but well, but well, it, does, it does impact. It, that, that actually has a bit more. Well, difficult. the thing is with the 7 through 10 playoff uh, proposals, like, that would be very interesting. I mean, I remember two years ago when – uh, Timberwolves and Nuggets for like eight nine. Oh, yeah, like, they, they were, were like back and forth. That Jimmy Butler yeah. and then, then the Nuggets lost it. And yeah. it was that was, it was a great game. See, yeah. and you see how entertaining that is. Like coming in at like oh, the yeah. end of the season, yeah. where how much like how intense it is, and it's like oh, yeah. it's a thing that would boost ratings definitely for the NBA across the board. Because I mean, if you want fans to be at their most climactic like drama, mm-hmm. it's like having these teams having like a one game have like it just be a one game series like seven plays ten eight play yeah. nine yeah the one and then yeah. Oh, that'd be intense as anything. Yeah. That gives another, again, that gives a whole other market to mid, middle of the pack yeah. teams that, yeah. you know, allow those kind of fan bases who know, like, ah, oh, we're the eighth seed, we're playing the Warriors. Yeah, like, year. whatever. But There's like, no way we're going to beat them yeah. in a seven game. It's, it's like, like something like the Clippers tangible. last year. Yeah, like, the Clippers last yeah. year in a 7 10 playoff series, that would have been really fun to watch. So, so watch yeah. that so, team that was willing to fight against the yeah. best of the best just go off against, yeah. so, like, that talent level, that'd be great. Something physically tangible. Yes. That, you know, like, it's going to put you in position for, like, you get in the playoff and, you know, mm-hmm. maybe you're not going to win against this one mm-hmm. seed, but you can put it all out there right now and, oh, yeah. and prove that, and hey, be, we yeah. deserve to be in here. Yeah, oh, I yeah. mean, that's, I mean, that's the great thing about it is how much drama would be in with it because, like, yeah, you're fighting to end your season early mm-hmm. or fight to live on and maybe, maybe get confidence building for mm-hmm. postseason to- series, oh, too. Yeah. And on top of that, honestly, in my opinion, I think middle-of-the-pack teams have less to play for than now. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. I mean, I, honestly, like, if I'm the Hornets last year and I'm fighting for the eighth seed, what's the point? I'm not yeah. going to get a good draft pick. It's going to be yeah, a little pack. Yeah. I have to, like, pray that I get someone like P.J. Washington. Yeah, I, I was going to say, you, I, 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 I was gonna say you either hit, which it kind of seems like the Hornets have, mm-hmm. like, yeah. fortunately for them, or you get a Pelicans-type bump. Yeah. In, in, yeah. Like, and that, that's a, that's a slim just, chance. It's just, I, there's just not much reason to play at that point because it's just yeah. kind of like, oh, we've been in the middle of the We're not yeah. bad, but, but you we're know. not good. <laughs> So I, I, I like that. I, I like yeah. these. I like these suggestions. Yep. I would like. This is gonna be a little bit mean. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm a little bit mm-hmm. meaner during Grinch. the holiday season. Call me the Grinch. Grinch, Krampus. Grinch. We, what? We, go, it, it, go back to Val. Well, well, the more I think about it, there's a lot of bad Christmas characters. Like there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. But like Ebenezer uh, Scrooge. Yeah, that's another <laughs> one. But anyway, so, Jack Frost. Mm mm mm. Go is ahead, he? say it. Is he? I don't know. Say I don't know. This is turning into a more of a, of a holiday Say episode. It. Anyway, I want the refs to be fined. I want, and this doesn't necessarily apply just for the NBA. I honestly want it across all sports. Refs are held so unaccountable in every sport. I think, I mean, the NBA made a good step in having challenges yeah. in yeah. games. I think there should be more than one. I think, yeah. I think each team should have three probably because if you're going to have one controversial call in the middle of the game, and then, like, you hit, like, a buzzer beat or something, or, like, something like, like a foul at the end of the game that can't be reviewed because you used your only challenge yeah. on, like, a call that you knew was wrong. I just think that you should have, be able to have another chance. But on top of that, I just really want the refs to be held accountable for their mistakes. Yeah. Across all, all, all uh, sports leagues, a majority of the time, if a ref is wrong, they just go, my bad. Yeah. You'll get it next time. <laughs> Sorry. And that's just unacceptable. Like, I mean, prime example, I mean, you had the last UVA, you had the UVA uh, Auburn game yeah. last year. Uh, an obvious no call that went uh, unnoticed, and then on top of that, I, you know, I, yeah, win yeah, it. I, I, I was, and also, there's just so many calls in sports that just yeah. go absolutely I, unnoticed or uncalled, and it just ruins the game. Honestly, yeah. that's another reason why I think ratings are down in the league is because people know that half the time the refs are just going to ruin the game. I, I mean, I also think that people kind of don't care about the NBA a lot until Christmas. Yeah. That is true. That is true. I thought with a lot of people. Oh, yeah. I, I was oh, gonna yeah. say, I've talked to a lot of people that say that they just after don't the care Super Bowl, until basketball Christmas. Is popular again. Yeah. But until the Super Bowl, it's the secondary sport. It's the tertiary. Yeah. It's, it's the third sport of popular. I mean, it's, it's not that big. But I really think that if we really laid down rules on the referees, because, I mean, they have – I'm not saying, like, NBA level fines were like, oh, you missed a call. That's a $20,000 fine. Yeah. Obviously yeah. not. Yeah. Obviously yeah. it would be, like, within, like, scope of their salary. Yeah. So like if they if they are in like two hundred thousand, I think the average salary for a ref in the league is between one hundred fifty thousand and five hundred fifty thousand, yeah. depending on how long they've been there. 
And I think, I mean, if you're like a newer ref and you miss the big like travel call at the end of the game, then that's like, oh, you know, like a thousand dollar fine. So it's something relative yeah. to your salary. Or if it's yeah. like, a, call like the James Harden dunk last game. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That. Uh. It was an obvious, obvious bucket, yeah. but they didn't count it. And not only did they not count it, they didn't even They like, can't review it. They can't yeah. review like, that. Whoops. And it's just like, it's, <laughs> and they just go, my bad. And looking yeah. at the Rockets lost by two yeah. last, uh, in that game. So I think that something like that, and especially if it's a more experienced ref, the, I mean, obviously the yeah. uh, fine will go up. But I just really think that refs should be held accountable for their mistakes, just like players are, just yeah. like coaches are, just like GMs are. But in every sport across the world, they're just not. And I think that's absolutely yeah. unacceptable. And I think that's something that needs to be talked about more. And I think the NBA has begun to crack down. I mean, they, I think the refereeing as a whole is much better than last year. I mean, they're calling more. Uh, they're missing less. I mean, last year was atrocious. Last year was absolutely atrocious oh, was to the awful. point where there terrible. needed to be a change or there would be serious consequences. Like, I, I honestly thought players would stop playing in the NBA yeah. if there weren't yeah. changes. But this year, it's been better, but it's still it's still not it's still ideal. a big problem in the NBA. Yeah. I, 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 and call I, me a Grinch, but I really want that to be changed for no, the better. Because I think that would make right. the, I right. think yeah. that would make the game more enjoyable to know that the refs are going to take their game, or, uh, yeah. take their job just as seriously as all the players on the court. Yeah, I, I mean something to consider that I will say this is like the refs. This is not their only career. Like, that is pe- true. People did not train to be a ref for yeah. like they, they didn't get a degree in refing. Most of people are, <laughs> most of people are like lawyers and like yeah. like these people have actual professions. Like so, a majority of them start in like high school leagues, yeah, college and, leagues, and then if they get really if they get really well known or something, like that, yeah, then they work their way up. Yeah, so I mean like this is something that you know you have to yeah. it's it's definitely you have to a secondary job. But so. you know if you are out here, there is yeah. an expectation that you'll do your job. <laughs> competently. Yeah. And, and you know, it, like I said, it is much better. Yeah. It's certainly much better now, but there are certainly times, like last night with the James Harden mm-hmm. dunk, that yeah. went through. It certainly went like, through. It, it went through and went back. Went, I thought it was going to go back in again. I was yeah. about to say double bucket. Yeah. But I, I didn't I think, think that was kind of... I think that like, should count. I think it should count things like, you know, the Kevin Durant, it was like three, yes. three feet out of bounds a couple of years ago when it was, I think it was Rockets uh, Warriors. Yeah. And he was jumping out, he was jumping out of the yeah. to save the ball and he was like at least three steps out of mm-hmm. bounds threw it in and the rest didn't say anything about yep. it. Uh, just things like that, like really, really easy no calls. The Auburn, the Auburn UVA game, the Kevin Durant out of bounds, the James Harden bucket, just pure examples of just them not being held accountable and just making blatant, blatant mistakes. Yeah. So I think that should definitely be something that should be tackled. Yeah. But with that, that is our little holiday special. So mm-hmm. we hope all of you have a very happy uh, holiday season. We will be back next year. Literally next year. Yes. For yes. a new ep- a new season to process this. Clear the social eyes. media will be back, I promise. It will be back and in full swing, hopefully this time for the entire semester. Uh, yes. And with that, I am your host, Patrick O'Neill. With me is Jay Black and Pearson Wiley. We will see you next year. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's very hard not to say Christmas in that. <laughs> Okay. Damn. Dude, you have no idea how hard it was not to say that Merry Christmas on television. <laughs> uh, I, I was I, like, I almost said it. <laughs>